Hey guys, my name is Boris. I'm a physician assistant. Today is day nine of our pants review where we pick a random pants study note card and discuss it. Today's topic is going to be, this is just a very quick one, <laughs> just a one word answer. Um, the question today is what is the antidote for ethylene glycol ingestion? All right, so this is gonna be your toxicology, your poison section. What is the antidote for ethylene glycol ingestion? If you're not aware, ethylene glycol is used in antifreeze, windshield wiper fluid, and various solvents and cleaners that you may find under the sink, in a laboratory, in an industrial setting. Um, so somebody ingested an unknown substance. However, you know that they work as a cleaner or they work as a mechanic. Um, you know, this would be a part of your consideration. They may have ingested antifreeze, wiper fluid, solvents, cleaners uh, containing ethylene glycol. Somebody presents to the emergency room saying, my kid just consumed a bunch of uh, antifreeze from the garage. What do I do? Uh, what is the antidote that this person would receive? Antidote for ingestion of ethylene glycol. And that antidote is, I'm going to butcher how to pronounce this thing, but it's fomepazole. Fomepazole. And I'm going to put it on the screen because it's, you know, a weird word, but fomepazole. F-O-M-E-P-I-Z-O-L. Fomepazole. And also, a little bonus question. Uh, what are the symptoms of ingestion of ethylene glycol? What, what might the person be complaining of? And then you ask them a bunch of questions and they say, yeah, by the way, I drank a bunch of antifreeze. What might they present to your emergency room with? What might they be uh, complaining of? Give you a couple seconds for that too. All right, symptoms of ingestion of ethylene glycol are flank pain, hematuria, oliguria, and then of course, this is not a symptom, but a lab finding is gonna be anion gap metabolic acidosis. So again, symptoms slash lab findings of ethylene glycol ingestion, Flank pain, you know, pain right here, kind of low back, upper low back where the kidneys are, flanks, flank pain. Hematuria, blood in the urine, oliguria, and then labs will find, or possibly will find, anion gap metabolic acidosis. See you guys in the next video.